Here at SirenNet headquarters, in our showroom, we have a lot of products for demonstration and a lot of switches to flip. I'm here with Wheel & Engineering and their Ceridian series light bar. This is the duo color, and we give you a look at the display that I've put together here for us. So all starting with power. How we take a 12 volt product and tie it in for use in the showroom is through a converter. So this box over here, that is our AC to DC conversion. Using a Syncom carbide, this is the non-OBD2 version, so just a essential one for non-specific cars and non-OBD2 plugins, this is what's taking the Ceridian bar and tying in the control head and the WCAN connection point. So down here, tying into power and ground through the inverter and a quick connect under the carbide, that's taken care of. Over here on the side through a quick connect is the WCAN three wire harness. And down here, that's the ignition control connection. And this is what you would further enhance tying into other accessories in your vehicle and the siren speakers. So moving up, following the harnesses is that's what's plug and play for everything into the control head here. So the control head in your vehicle, yes, that's gonna do a lot more than operate just your overhead light bar. But for fun, this is what I've set up through a variety of different colors and flash patterns. And this is something that I've had a chance to tune myself through the WeCan software. So just a display of something that I like as far as the pattern specifications and the color breakup. So hopefully you'll like it too. Let's go ahead and start with the cruise mode. All blue, mixing in blue and amber to the rear. Can make a switch here and go into a red. So this bar on the front is a blue and red. On the back, amber, half blue, half red. Neat thing with this in this section is I've set it to a steady burn. So this is going to let me take advantage of a low power setting for an adjustment. So go back through that quickly here. Blue in the dedicated cruise setting. Red I've put into a steady on. So cruise and steady on. And the steady on here, envision that in white, that's how you're gonna take advantage of your flood mode. So in that case, too much light time at night, you can tone that down. Button that I've set up here that's kind of neat is what I'm calling two-tone. So I've set up the corners and inboards in the front. The dual color modules in the Ceridian bar are 12 diodes in each module. The inboards and the corner, six diodes interwoven for each color. Just a nice rhythm alternating the two. So the inboards here are on a sync, but a different pattern than the corners. On the back, mixing in the primary warning red and blue with the amber, so an appropriate rear display. On the rear of the light bar, switching it over to just a simple display. So main focal color is amber with the red and blue on the outside. Through the software, the flash pattern's been adjusted to my choosing here. Nighttime adjusting, low power button, obviously takes that and tones it down. The photo cell that you can add into the light bar, that'll take care of that automatically by reading the ambient light, so you're not gonna have to take advantage of an on-off switch. The back of the light bar, that's going to be independent when it comes to directional functions. Traffic advisor, moving one direction on the vehicle, following with the other. Center out, of course, that's there and available. But one of the things that I like with this, tying it in through the carbide and the programming, is having a cautionary display. So any service vehicle that you might be putting the Ceridian onto, and then this is a triple tap. So mode number one, flash setting number one that I've done. Number two, so something much faster, more attention grabbing. Triple press, get that over to the third flashing display. Once you've gone through the three, the fourth turns it back to off. The light bar has illumination features which are done with a new inboard. Front facing takedowns, driver side, passenger side. Well, just kind of flip flop that driver side, passenger side, alleys, and this has the rear work lights. So I've set these up into independent control, front facing takedowns, alleys tied together, so that's letting me save a switch, and the rear scene lighting mode. So for duo bars where you don't have a 360 degree of white, this is a nice way to supplement that. The bar and the progressive slide switch have this broken up into independent color displays. 
all blue and a nice flash pattern rhythm done with a sinking. Half blue, half amber to the rear. Now, setting over to a isolated red and amber display. Same flash pattern and rhythm mode that the blue is done. So this is a neat way for vehicles where you may have two functions in one, emergency services followed by a public works or emergency management. So flip it over, primary color is red and blue. The other mode can be amber and that color only. This is a tension grabbing but dazzling display of both colors and a very nice tension grabbing rhythm. So this is what I would consider appropriate for a position three and the vehicle in a pursuit mode tying in with the siren control. The takedown lights don't have them activated, just running the warning colors. Kick on the button, wigwag. Now the white is working away in the front and in the alleys. I don't have it activated to the rear. If you wanted to do that, you could choose to do so. But for me, I like to see amber to the back, white to the sides, and to the front. And the wigwag can work independently. Wigwag with the blue, blue color display only. White with red, so a really nice color scheme for fire and rescue services. Another fun pattern that I've had the ability to set up on this, and it's something that I really wanted to challenge myself with, is how could I make the Ceridian light bar look different? So maybe consider putting this into a pattern where it looks like the world's biggest beacon in a rotator. So mixing over here, what I'm calling the 360 degree, Really cool rhythm. So switching in to this display with blue, just thought that would look neat versus red, and the amber onto the back, but this is just taking the light, sweeping it from what would be the driver to the passenger and all the way around. So just something fun that you can sit down and do with this through the WeCan software. The Ceridian Duo Light Bar from Wheel and Engineering and the functions you can look forward to.